The topic here is evaluating trigonometric functions for an angle given the quadrant and the sine of the angle. So let's do this example. Find the exact value of each of the other five trigonometric functions for the angle x given that sine x is equal to third and the angle is in quadrant two. So we know it's in quadrant two. So let's just draw a random one in quadrant two. So here's, so let's assume this is the angle. So this is the angle X, right? It's in quadrant two, right? This is quadrant two. And then we want the sine to be equal to third. Remember, let's, what I'm gonna do, let me draw, let me draw uh, a unit circle. So assume this is a unit circle Remember, unit circle means the radius is 1. So this is 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1. So a sine, remember, so the sine is equal to 2 thirds means, so I draw a unit circle that crosses the point where the B, the sine is 2 thirds. In other words, if you go to this point, I know the sine has to be 2 thirds, right? Because sine is always equal to B. Now the A, I don't know. So far I know the sine is equal to 2 thirds, so B has to be 2 thirds. So sine, so basically all I need to do is find the A and the problem will be easy. How can I find the A? I know that because this point is on the unit circle, I know that A squared plus B squared has to be equal to 1. In other words, A squared plus the B is what? 2 thirds, 2 over 3 squared, I know this is equal to 1, so I can calculate the A. A squared plus 4 over 9 is equal to 1, so A squared is equal to 1 minus 4 over 9, so A squared is equal, what is that? That would be 9 minus 4. 9 minus 4 is 5, so it's 5 over 9. Remember, this means A is equal minus or plus square root of 5 over square root of 9 is just 3. But remember, A, we know A is right here. So A, this is A, so it has to be negative. It's on the left side. So A has to be minus square root of 5 over 3. Now let me go back and plug it here. So this point is actually the point that's on the unit circle is, let me do it here, is negative square root of 5 over 3, 2 over 3. Now the rest should be easy. Why? Because this is sine, cosine of x, right? This is sine of x. So let me write all of them down at once. So cosine of x, sine of x. Cosine of x is negative square root of 5 over 3. Sine is 2 thirds. Remember, tangent is what? It's sine over cosine. Let me write it down. Which is 2 over 3 divided by negative square root of 5 over 3. Let me do it in one more step. 2 over 3 times 3 over negative square root of 5. Simplify this. You get negative 2 over square root of 5. So this is tangent of x. So this is tangent. Cosine. This is a sine. The rest is easy. Secant, all you do is invert the cosine. So it's going to give you negative 3 over square root of 5. Cosecant, invert the sine, I mean, yes, cosecant, it would be 3 over 2, and then cotangent, invert the, ta the, the tangent, which is negative square root of 5 over 2, and that's it for this example.